previously during the investigation. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenville. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. It's broken. I've been using that one for a long time. Why don't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I've never been to a movie theater, though. Here we go. Episode 1, First Day of the Investigation. And welcome back, guys, for all of you on the YouTube side of things. Uh, I did a little cut there, and I'm so impressive because I didn't even do an outro, and whatever. <laughs> Sugar donuts. So, we're just going to continue on. Whenever I start recording or streaming, I always start to try to yawn. It's just not going to be helpful here. Let's move into the darkness. Yeah, I can't hold my breath that long. I tried. I'm dead. Sorry, guys. Though, to be fair, I wouldn't have stood there holding my breath. I would have kept him moving. Yes, Crimson, that is in fact what you were seeing. Essentially, they can't see us if we hold our breath, apparently. So I just had to hold my trigger down.
and that bed is still obscenely huge. That can fit three, maybe four people comfortably. Like, who needs that big of a bed? Like, unless you're having a huge slumber party, it's not really necessary. That's like a double king the symbolism size. in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves. A strange doll. And twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Well, that'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. Right, we need coffee. It's not you being an addict, it's us being an addict. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? I can save, so I'll do that now. And... I'll reset my timer that I have going. Got twelve dollars for reporting in. Let's check out my suitcase to see what kind of clothes I have. Okay, I'm gonna wear this now. Change goals. What do you have to change? Yes. And now I'm all fancy and I earn a lot more money. I also do more damage and a bunch of other things. Have more HP, etc., etc. Um, let's head into the bathroom. Assuming this is the bathroom. Yes, indeed. Um, we don't have any scruff going, so we don't need to shave our face. Let's go to the bathroom. To the actual, like, toilet. I can't, don't need to use the toilet, apparently. Alright. Is there a faster way to go through these doors? Like, if I start running out the door... Okay, yeah, that's how you do it. buy snacks, or, more importantly, I could do this. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. Polly Oxford, the hotel owner. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes, it's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh, my. We're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I 
think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Holly, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already, but the town is called Greenvale. It rains here quite often, but it's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. I'll be right back. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it too, I think. I look forward to hearing it then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. There we go. Sorry about that. Did you see that, Zach? Claire is a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Now then, let's get going. So, I have to wonder, did it just sit there repeating that same thing over and over again? Like, look at this with interest? Or what? Um, I guess I'll just get out of here. Not a lot to do in here right now. Oh. So, let's buy a fishing rod. Acquired rod. Bait. Get a few stabilizers. Yeah. 
And one more thing of bait. We're all ready. First day of investigation cleared. Yeah, we really just got paid for eating breakfast. Because that's how that works. We got paid $200 plus our salary for eating breakfast. This world is a wonderful place. A police car. Our office is open from 9 to 17. So 9 to 5. Don't be late. Sheriff George Woodman. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. All right, time to relearn how to do this. Brakes with left trigger. I'm not left trigger, left bumper. Boost with left trigger. Honk with the clicking down the steering wheel, steering the left stick, that's the thing I was looking for. Wipers are up and down, signals are left and right, change view with the right, um, talk with A, B does nothing, change view with Y, and X is headlights for some reason. Accelerate with right bumper and side brake with right trigger. Let's hope I can remember all of that. Got the master key. You got the flare. Okay, how was it that I did that? Why? Yeah, that's how we do it. Right, right. Okay, it has been a while since I've done this, so don't like hate on me too much if I crash my car. Whoa. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? Nope. We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. Oh. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. Okay. So, essentially, Zack and uh, Morgan will have just, well, I guess Zack and York will just have uh, conversations. Also, the turn on the police car is pretty awful. Zack, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Lily Ingram. So I will be collecting as many cards as I can as I play. 
I just got four hundred dollars for that, just for picking up a trading card. I will be rich very soon. <laughs> Found a trading card? Here's $400. You can keep the trading card. I just wanted to give you money for it. I guess it's supposed to be $200, but I have clothing that boosts it, like doubles all money you obtain. But all the same, that's still $200 for a trading card. And they're not even taking the trading card. Wait, 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 wait. Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83, directed by Douglas McCown. Right, it was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth, I loved it. So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. Wonder how the sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. I think that one was back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. Now that was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. Zach, that one had sequels like crazy. I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. Alright, now that uh, York is done with this conversation, let's get this item, because collectibles are always fun. Left hand bone. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Hey, doggy. Ah, oh, just a cute little doggo. Alright. And now the dog's gone, so I can't accidentally run over. Accidentally, quote unquote, because there are a lot of people who would do it on purpose. Go. And there's a fishing spot over here, so let's stop here. How do you get. Oh, there it is. So let's fish our first fish. Quote unquote fish. Let's hope I can remember how to do this. Rod, a standard fishing rod. Worm, a normal bait. Wait for the right moment to get a big hit, but if your line breaks, you lose one bait, so be careful. Throw in. How do you do this again? Yeah, I got it. Cool. That's actually the one item I wanted on this list. And Fiona Freckles. You caught a Fiona Freckles. I got a card. Um, I don't want anything else here. So now that I got that on my first try, I'm out of here. That was how fishing works, guys. And I'm glad I got that on the first try because it made me look more impressive. And that's probably one of the few times I'll ever do that. Because... It's all about timing, and I'm not great with my timing. So I'm a thousand meters away, and it is 10 a.m. It's almost 10.30. So I still have uh, six and a half hours. So let's keep on driving around. Because fun. Or, hmm. Actually, now that we've been through all this kind of cutscene stuff, guys, next time, let's play. Uh, I almost said Hyperdimension Neptunia because that's what I'm used to saying, but no. Deadly Premonition, the director's cut. 
we're going to be moving on, just kind of exploring for a while until we do the uh, police stuff. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs>